you can tell. Alright, just got to Old Town, hopped off the trolley. First stop's gonna be heading up on the hill. We're gonna check out one of the oldest buildings in all of Southern California, the old Presidio up on top of the hill. I feel like that's a good place to start. Let's head there first. Stop number one, beautiful old town San Diego. It's gonna be the old Presidio site. Some of you might have heard the El Camino Real, where all the old missions were built along the coast of Alta, California at the time, what is now just California. You might have heard the very oldest one is here in San Diego, and that is true. It's a few miles down the road from here. But the original site where it was built is actually where we're at right now. And even though the mission was moved a few years after it was built, the Presidio is still here. And it holds the ranking as the number one oldest European settlement in what we now consider to be the west coast of America. view there off to the west. We've got this recreation of an old Spanish style wine press. Pretty authentic to have come from Spain, actually. That's kind of cool. I can certainly see why a site such as this would have been chosen back in the late 18th century. It offered a bird's eye view of pretty much the whole area. So the Presidio at this site was built in 1769 makes it about the oldest thing you're gonna see in California anywhere. San Juan Capistrano, there's some original ruins from that mission, which was built a few years later, but the fact that they're still original, I think makes them a little bit older. This has been rebuilt a time or two. But this is the site right here where it was built. This is where the town of San Diego completely began. And you gotta imagine what it would have looked like back then compared to today. It certainly wouldn't have been the freeway noise we're experiencing here, right next to the Interstate 8. About at the four o'clock hour, so not the best time for traffic. These poor souls. These days, most people that come to Old Town do so for the Mexican food, margaritas, maybe some cool music if they're lucky, catch it on the right night. Few people come up the hill here either to walk it or drive it. I drove up here, you certainly can, to see the oldest site in San Diego. It's pretty cool that it's still here. Uh, they do tours and stuff here. I never really see them running. It seems like it's pretty much always kind of empty here. Sometimes I hike up here with my bicycle and ride it down. There's some pretty cool hills down the back side of it. There's those gentlemen that we're painting. Pretty cool spot to just chill and soak up the nice view here. It's really a beautiful building. You gotta appreciate that. There's just not too much stuff like this. And if there is, it's probably not authentic. It's probably like my school. I mean, they built it to look much like these Spanish style missions and they did a good job. It's beautiful. But to think that this was actually from when Spain was trying to colonize the area. But anyway, it makes it the oldest site in Old Town. And I, I feel like it's a good place to start off the tour because I always appreciate history. As 
funny, I've been up here dozens of times. Pretty short bike ride from Ocean Beach. Pretty sure it's the first time I've ever actually driven up here though, it's kind of weird. Usually I'll ride my bike to Old Town, walk it up this huge hill that we're on, which as you can see, we are pretty high up. And there's actually some really cool trails that you can ride down. It's a bit intense. Get your brakes a good workout on your bicycle for sure, but down into that canyon, right over here, definitely some cool paths. If you're ever visiting San Diego and you want to explore this area, I highly recommend getting a bicycle, something with suspension and brakes. Have yourself a good time out here. It's pretty fun. It's free. All right, time to scale down the hill, head into Old Town San Diego proper. Right now we're right in the middle of Old Town San Diego Historic State Park. This whole little square actually was built in the 1820s. I had a comment recently from a fan who told me it'd be a good idea to make a video from here and I thought, why didn't I think of that? Freaking love Old Town. History nerd, I love Mexican food. This place was made for me. Walking around the Cosmopolitan Hotel, one of the main sites here in Old Town. This was actually built in 1829. It is quite old. Uh, it was revamped in the 1870s, built into the big two-story building you see today, and then added as a, an old stagecoach stop way back 19th century. What's cool about it is that it is still a hotel to this day, and there is also a cool restaurant inside. I gotta say, I've come here twice this week to check it out, and both times it's been closed, so I don't know if they're reworking it or maybe just some refurbishments or something, but normally it's a pretty good restaurant in here too. I always love these old tiny sidewalks. Not positive if they're original or not, but they definitely fit the vibe. First San Diego courthouse right up in here. Take a look inside. Ah, darn, too much glare. This is open during most hours, I think. God, it's 4.30 p.m. I'm a little bummed out. They're not, ah, there we go. Inside's pretty cool. Out back here they've got this old little scene here that kind of helps you picture life once upon a time. This is the courthouse, like I said, so you could probably guess what this is used for. Probably not the best way to to serve your time, but see if we can get in there. Okay, so you know, you gotta get a bathroom bucket. Not so bad. <laughs> that, is, that is not enough room to lay down even. Talk about cruel and unusual. Man, a lot of cool history in this part of town, dating back to the early 19th century, back when this was still Mexico. A lot of historic sites crammed into one little area. And some pretty good margaritas and stuff too, so you really can't beat it. A lot of good reasons to come down here, or just to visit some of the crazy little shops and stuff. Get yourself some Mexican style knickknacks. San Diego Avenue, sort of the main drag here in Old Town. Down there's where you can still drive and park your car. This is the state park portion where it's foot traffic only. Coming up on one of the old churches here in Old Town. It's called the Church of the Immaculate Conception. And it was completed in 1917, so just over 100 years old. Not the oldest thing in Old Town, but Definitely a pretty cool old church. 
you know me, my videos, you know I love checking out that kind of stuff. Ooh, sweet. Looks like we can go in. Here we got some LED candles. Oh. Ah, come on. No luck for me. See the Cosmopolitan there, that's our number four. Coming up on another cool site, the Whaley House. Might have heard of that. It's another one they did a ghost adventures at. A lot of people say maybe the most haunted house in California. You could argue that, it's debatable. But it does offer some interesting historical significance. And they actually do some pretty good tours there. I've done it before. Uh, they give you a lot of the good history. What's really cool about that building is that it was a courthouse uh, early in the days of San Diego. And what was truly unique about this particular courthouse is that this was the room where they would have tried you, found you possibly guilty, and back in those days, a guilty verdict, that street right here, guilty verdict would have ended in a hanging, and at the Whaley House, they hung you right in the backyard. Maybe to some people that's not a big thing. To me, if you're weird, maybe you enjoy that kind of thing. I don't know. I would say it's highly, highly recommended to stand in in those shoes and kind of imagine the type of stuff that would have gone on back then. This blows my mind coming through this place. You can really feel the history here. To think of this being an active shop, and courthouse, and all kinds of stuff. It's one of the things I love about this site is that the grounds are just open. On any given night, if you happen to just be wandering around, getting some tacos, doing your thing, whatever, you can just kind of at least walk through here. You don't have to schedule a tour. You do to go inside the house, unfortunately. You can't do that, but you can walk around the grounds and at least absorb some of this history. There's the Whaley House right there behind me. And this was the same building that they would be trying criminals in in the late 19th century. And back then, if you were found guilty, well, they took you out back and stretched you on a rope. And that happened right here, right in this backyard here. Now, I've done the Whaley House tour a couple times. It is very cool and worth doing for sure. Considering doing it again and making a whole video out of that. I don't know if you're interested in seeing that put some comments below Maybe and throw a suggestion out at me and maybe I'll come back here and make a second video out of that Every time I go I always take tons of pictures and then go through them hoping for something something unique Anything really <laughs> that I can attribute to paranormal perhaps but alas my hundreds of photos have come back with nothing in them But I was down to try again. So if you guys are interested in seeing that let me know be happy to come back here again and bang that out. A lot of people talk shit on the Mexican food in Old Town. They say it's for tourists, but Cafe Coyote is actually pretty darn good, and they have a legendary Taco Tuesday. But right next door to it, Old Town Mexican Cafe. This is one of my favorite places in the whole city. They've got pretty much the best tortillas, like, ranked. There's only a couple places that could even think about rivaling them. In fact, let's go take a look. I've eaten here many times. It's really never disappointed. Not on price, not on food quality. And they definitely take their tortillas seriously. You can see these wonderful ladies in here just making magic happen. They're so good. They're this thick, biscuity. I don't know if she's she's being filmed. Very thick, amazing tortillas. Absolutely got to try them. They will completely change you. They're so good. They offer them as an appetizer here in the restaurant. You can just order like a bundle of tortillas and they just bring them out to you hot. And with a nice pat of butter, why not? Fantastic. Of course, there are a few chain restaurants here as well, which 
do kind of tarnish the reputation. Like Miguel's over there and Fred's right here. Not bad. Pretty good food. It's just, you know, you can get much more authentic Mexican around the city for sure. <laughs> We're gonna check out one of the truly unique sites here in Old Town. Check out the old cemetery over here. And you might be thinking, oh, you know, cemetery, I've seen that before. Not like this one, I don't think. And we're gonna show you why right now. First unique thing about this cemetery is its location. Right amongst the bars of Old Town. In fact, here's one right here, like five feet away. If you can sit at those little windows right there and sip some mezcal look out over this creepy cemetery. A lot of these are quite old. 1867. An Indian babe. Not entirely sure what they meant by that. Indian maiden. A little nicer of a description. Ah, oh, this one says little girl. Yeah, infant mortality was well, pretty common. Dysentery, typhoid, killed a lot of, a lot of kids in the 19th century. Okay, here's another one. crazy about this cemetery in particular is that not only is it right next to Old Town, San Diego Avenue, the main drag here, but that it used to be a lot bigger than it is today. And when they paved over a lot of this stuff, they ended up just covering up a lot of these graves. Some of them were unmarked, some of them just forgotten. And now, to this day, you can still see some of the original grave sites have been stamped into the ground and they're literally in the street and on the sidewalk and people walk and drive over them every day. So bizarre. And right out here in the street, this is where you see these things. One right there. Another right there. I mean, they are everywhere. There are no shortage of bodies in the streets. Is a trip. This placard here kind of explains what, what's going on. Found in 1993 with the use of ground penetrating radar. Yeah, it's crazy. All those bodies. I'm not going to say that doesn't exist at any other cemetery in the world. Certainly wouldn't surprise me if it did, but I can definitely say this is the only one I'm aware of, and I've never seen anything like that anywhere else. Very unique, very dark history. What went down here? I mean, a lot of these people were hanged right here in town. Random passerby just stopped me and asked me where's a good place to get pizza. Not, not in Old Town, bro. But luckily for him, Little Italy, just a few miles south of here. And a cool feature in Old Town is these trolley tours they do. I actually never caught one of these. Probably should one of these days. I know they take you kind of all over town and narrate some of the history and stuff. Kind of sounds up my alley. I'm a little bummed out. Cosmopolitan's not open. Really cool hotel. They got this cool old, old bar top in there that you can check out. Still order a drink on. It's been there since the 1830s. And the restaurant's not bad too. It doesn't really quite fit in with Old Town. It's not really like exclusively Mexican food or anything, but it's pretty good. I have to come back here and Maybe give them a call first, kind of see what's going on, but... So the restaurant is closed, come to find out, just temporarily though. I was able to speak with the manager though, who let me in here, get a few shots. Check out the hotel surrounding it. So many trees in here, it's a little hard to see, but upstairs are where the rooms are. Downstairs kind of like a dining hall and... I think it's for like private events and such, but they do definitely do ghost tours here. Handed me this pamphlet and that is definitely on my list. There's a few of them here in town, but this would be a really cool one to do, I think. Break out your ghostometer. 
did do a pretty cool episode of Ghost Adventures here. If you're interested in that kind of stuff at all, I'd recommend checking it out. It's a little, a little campy, but it's it's a, it's an interesting to watch. They give you a lot of the history of the building. Nice mural from the old stagecoach days. Nice guy in there. I'm sure it was the manager or something. Just kind of saw me looking at the building and happy to answer any questions I had. I say he totally sold me on the ghost tour. I gotta come back and do that. Mark that one down on the bucket list for sure. Here's a little history lesson for you. This old adobe home you see here is the Casa de Estudio. This was built in 1829 and still has a lot of the original Spanish architecture. The home's built around this central courtyard, which today has this really nicely maintained garden in it. It's actually really pretty. The Casa de Estudio is also one of the very first tourist destinations in the U.S., at least, you know, in the way we think of it today. In the 1880s, there was this book called Ramona by Helen Hunt Jackson. It became insanely popular. It was this romanticized love story set in Southern California and described all these beautiful landscapes and people just loved it. They wanted to come out and see it for themselves. And thanks to a, a booming railroad industry at the time, they were actually able to. This was a, the first time in history people could travel great distances on a whim, and many of them chose to do it to come out west and see places from their favorite novel. And this would have landed them, you know, anywhere from Santa Barbara all the way down to San Diego, where the Casa de Estudio touted itself as the marriage site of the title character in Helen Hunt Jackson's novel. Now, I mean, was this true? Of course not. The book was fiction. But, you know, it didn't stop folks from cashing in on this new wave of tourism all around Southern California, which, you know, really wasn't practical or even feasible up until then. It really makes me appreciate the freedom I have today to just, you know, hop in a car or a plane and go anywhere in the country, or really even the world, just to see something as trivial as filming locations from my favorite movies like I love to do. And that just simply wasn't something people did up until the age of competing railroad companies. Sun just setting. It is 4.30 p.m. Lights are just starting to come on. I say, last time I ate at Fred's, they, they didn't have this nice little fire accent right here. That's pretty cool. Help warrant, warrant that price. Ah, I don't want to talk shit, but they're a little, a little expensive for what you get. In our way east, gonna check out this really unique stretch of old Victorian homes, Heritage Park. Let's check it out. It's another cool part of Old Town. It's this little street over here called Heritage Row, where they kept all these old Victorian style mansions. Some very old buildings here. There's a cool old Jewish synagogue. Kind of nice to see how the Upper, upper class from those days might have lived back then. Whew, fortunately, it's uphill every bit of the way. I'm gonna lose my lighting, but ah oh man, it's kind of nice at this hour. Some pretty cool, unique houses here. I'm not gonna see in really any other part of San Diego. Look over there at the Matthew McConaughey house. Nah, he didn't live there. In fact, that's not even how you spell his name. Ooh, got some nice colors out of these trees. Don't get much of that in California. This one's probably my favorite. The Christian House. It's funny that so many of the historic sites here are virtually abandoned, <laughs> whereas the one strip where there's restaurants and drinks and things is definitely what draws most of the crowd. I can't blame them. Usually when I come to Old Town, it's, you know, for that reason. I do love this time of evening. It's quite nice, actually. Just about to lose my good lighting, but looks for some nice ambiance. Another look at that synagogue I mentioned. Getting to that hour. Town's starting to light up pretty nicely. They make it pretty scenic here in the evening hours. Bad time to do some of the tours, check out some of the museums, and of course, get yourself 
some good Mexican food. Nice lights of Old Town proper. Creepy cemetery adjacent. Such an unusual juxtaposition. I don't know where else in the world you get creepy old cemetery literally right next to people drinking. In that window right there, that's a mescaleria where you get smoky tequila. And then right over here is like the rest of Old Town. It's just right in the thick of it. Ah, still not too late. Get yourself some knickknacks. Go Santa. It's actually pretty cool. I kind of want that. It's another pretty cool museum right here, this old stable, blacksmith shop, right next door to the Cosmopolitan Hotel. Looks like I am about the only person left. This place definitely has a nice look to it at night though. I love these lamps, they do a pretty good job. And those are some of the rooms up there. Looked into it, it's not that crazy. Don't quote me on the price, I want to say it was about 200 a night last time I looked, which you know, good location, good city, it's not the end of the world. I, mean, I gotta say, every time I come here, I have a good time, I see some cool stuff, and there's always more to check out. There's always something else I gotta add to the list. This time with no exception. Anyways, I thank you for hanging out with me here in Old Town San Diego. If you liked it, please give me a like or subscribe. Check out my channel for some more videos. Thanks.